Alrighty guys, Chippy12 here, and today we are doing the weekly cube draft. This is the third one. And we're doing something kind of different. We're going to be doing Quad9's contest uh, giveaway cube for 500 subscribers. Some pretty interesting stuff in here, and you guys can win this whole cube, in fact, uh, by entering in his contest, which you can find on his channel. And uh, definitely go and subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy, and he has a lot of good uh, cube info. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be drafting this. It's going to be different because it's a smaller cube. So we got pack size of 15, 3 packs, and 3 bots. So we're going to be playing 4 players instead of the usual 8. So let's go ahead and update this a few times and then draft. Alright, so we've got a Reckless Waif, Naturalized, Turn and Burn, Tormented Hero, Faithless Looting, Bloodbraid Elf, I like, Fathom Seer, Molten Primordial if you want some kind of bomb, White Knight, we have Sky Knight, Ultimate Price is great removal, Boros Guild Gate, Devour Flash, more removal, uh, Blade Splicer is an awesome creature, and a Dissipate is a great counter spell. Um, I really like the Bloodbraid Elf, and that we can get something pretty cool off of it, and it's a 3-2 haste. Uh, and red greens, green's usually a good color to get uh, mixed in with as well. Ultimate Price is great removal. Uh, I'd take it over the Devour Flesh. Um, I don't know how many multicolored cards there are in this cube either. But, oh boy. Blade Splicer is a very good uh, white creature to get in early. And then Molten Primordial for the bomb again. Uh, Turn and Burn's good removal as well, and Tormented Hero for growing some kind of black aggressor deck and Reckless Wife also. Reckless Waif for a red aggro deck. Faceless Looting is pretty interesting if we were going some kind of reanimator or flashback stuff. Um, but I really like the Bloodbraid Elf, and I just want to play it, so we're going that way. Uh, Vivid Meadow, Dungeon Geist, Terramorphic Expanse, Dimmer Charm, Flames of the Firebrand, it's Staticaster, a few Guild Gates, Shrewd's Familiar, Diagraph Ghoul, another Guild Gate, Captain of the Watch, Gotstaff Shepherd, and Flicker Wisp. Uh, Captain of the Watch is awesome in that we get more creatures with it and they all get pumped as well. Uh, that's a pretty sweet bomb to pull. Uh, Dungeon Geist can also be really awesome in shutting down some other creatures. But I feel like Captain of the Watch is just really fun and can also pretty much win the game for us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, Wall of Roots, Kelton Champions, Aether Adept, Unsummon, you have Maya Elder, Bloodline Keepers, Awesome, Manic Vandal, Celestial Flare, Ethereal Armor, Favorite Hoplite, Myria Angel, Buried Alive, and Black Knight. Uh, here what stands out to me, we've got the Bloodline Keepers Suite, uh, and a Myria Angel, we get birds off of that, so it seems like we're going some kind of token thing here too, uh, maybe. Manic Vandal, if we have to destroy anything, I know there's no swords in here, so that's not really going to matter. Although there could be some other stuff we want to destroy. Bloodline Keeper is cool. Kelden Champions is a good, uh, Kelden Champion uh, is a good uh, guy to get damage through, and then just let him die if you want to. Uh, and then we got Wall of Roots if we want to do some kind of ramp thing, which we kind of got going on here as well as the Yavimaya Elder, some good blue control stuff here as well, and some pretty sweet white stuff. Um, I think it would be fun to do ramp, and tokens would also be pretty sweet. Uh, I'm not sure how much stuff he has to pump, but if we can just overwhelm them with tokens, it could be fun, and I feel like it's just a really fun deck to play, so we're going to try it and see how it goes. Trigon Predator, Vivid Marsh, uh, we got another Guild Gate back there, Tormod's Crypt, Into the Royal Keepsake Gorgon, Putrefy is awesome removal, Giant Growth, Searing Spirit, Explore, Ghoul Drives Vampire, and Azor's Charm. Uh, we could also go with some kind of ramp thing with the Explore, Searing Spirit is awesome removal, I might take that, Giant Growth can be a fun combat trick, Putrefy is awesome removal. Um... But we've already got some red here into the Royals fun uh, blue control card, as well as Azorius Charm if we were going white blue. And I think the Searing Spear is the pick here. Dissipate, uh, this, is our, this is our original pack. Um, so we, if we wanted to go the ramp still, we could go with the Molten Primordial and just have that guy get in there as one of our higher costed. 
creatures. We got the mana fix in here. I don't want to pick quite yet, although I do like to pick it up pretty early on. We're not exactly sure what we're going to be doing yet. Although it seems like we might be going with red, white, green. Uh, white Knight's pretty awesome for a Strike Pro Black. The Knights are pretty cool. Ultimate Price is good removal. Uh, but I feel like it'd be fun to go ramp with the uh, Molten Primordial. Uh, the Guild Gates in our colors, Flames of the Firebrand, is some fun removal. Uh, got Staff Shepherd, Azorius Guild Gate, Orzhov Guild Gate. Uh, Diagraph Ghoul. That's not really the deck we have the cards for right now. Uh, I think Flames of the Firebrand is probably the pick here, although the Dru Druid's Familiar can also be good in the Soul Bond for plus two, plus two. Um, I feel like it's between those two. I don't know. I it annoys me that they don't show what it flips to. I think it's just a 3-3, three, three, maybe trample or something on it. Um, but I'm going to go with the... We got the Searing Spear. And this guy can be pretty awesome. I think we'll go with him. Because we want to have enough creatures as well in our deck. Keldon Champion came back. Uh, Ethereal Armor. You have a Maya Elder. Uh, that'll get us some of the ramp stuff we want as well as drawing a card off of it. I think that's the pick here. Um, Tormod's Crypt, Giant Growth, Putrefy into the Royal, Dimmer Guildgate, Azorius Charm, Gul'dra's Vampire, and a Trigon Predator. So if we were to stick to these colors, we've basically got the Tormod's Crypt and the Giant Growth, and I don't mind pulling a Giant Growth. But let's see what else we got. Putrefy is probably better than most of the stuff in this pack, and Into the Royal is also good. Um, I'm just going to take the Putrefy, maybe if we end up splashing black or just to hate draft it. Boros Guild Gates in our colors still. Uh, Reckless Waif, we're going the less aggressive this time. We're going the more higher mana costed. Um, I think we'll go with the Guild Gate just for the mana fixing. And we've also got the Celestia Guild Gate here if we want to, and the Vivid Meadow, which both are good. Hmm, Vivid Meadow or the Celestia Guild Gate. Hmm. We've got the red white already, and this will also get us more white, so I feel like we'd be good off with the uh, Celestia Guild Gate. Um, favorite Hoplite and Manic Vandal, Unsummoned Black Knight, and Buried Alive. Uh, if we run into something annoying that our opponent has, we might want to play the Manic Vandal uh, we don't have low drops yet, especially one drops, so, but I think we'll go with the Manic Vandal, I need to hurry this up, because I'm already running late on time. We'll go with the Giant Growth here, and the White Knight, and Azori Skill Gate, in case we go those colors, and the Black Knight, we got White Knight and Black Knight. Ember Hauler, Golgari, Guild Gate, Prey Upon, Skin Render, Deluvian Primordial, Unflinching Courage is awesome. Love that card. Lingering Souls is also, also sweet. Not Expector is awesome as well. And Mishra's Factory. Arrest is sweet. Removal. Uh, another Vivid Land. Fiend Hunter. Sin Collector. Pilgrim's Eye. And Careful Consideration. Uh, I think Unflinching Courage is just so fun. I might go with that. Mishra's Factory is also great, though. And uh, we might splash black. And we were thinking about going tokens. So I say we could splash black with that and do the Lingering Souls, why not? Uh, Sulfuric Vortex, we're not going the aggressive deck. Uh, Elite Vanguard, Counterspell, Dreadboar, Torch Fiend, Landor Elves if you want to stick with the ramp. Gorkland Rampage is also really cool. Uh, is it Guildgate, Everflowing Chalice, Doomblade, Farseek, um, just some more sweet green stuff. Uh, Landor Elves, we don't have any real low drops yet, and uh, we could always go for the ramp. Vivid Crag is in our colors. We need to look more at what's in our colors now. So, Palladium Myrrh, Basalt Manolith, Prophetic Prism, Mind Stone is awesome. Mortify, if we do end up going with some of the black. Uh, and we got Bone Shredder and Cloud Thresher. Cloud Thresher is another great one to ramp up to. It can be a real pain. Um, it would hurt our Amuria Angel and Tokens, which could be a bummer if it's even out then, but uh, it also gives us another thing to block flying with, which is good. Mindstone's awesome. That, that's always a fun one. Um, is 
it's prophetic prophetic prism basically better. Oh no, because this can tap for one more. Um mm, so we got Evolving Wilds could be good as well if we're pretty split up here. But I think if we want to stick with the ramp, we'll go with the Cloud Thrasher here. Uh Illuminate Primordial is another thing to ramp up to. Sepulchral Primordial, so two primordials here. Think twice, Unburial Rites, Cross and Grip, Mortar Pod, Vivid Grove, Gore House, Chain Walker, and then some blue stuff. Uh, the Vivid Grove is probably a good pull as green is going to be one of our central colors, and then we've got quite a few others sticking off of that. I should have picked the other Vivid Land earlier over the Celestia, but I didn't think we'd be going more than three colors, so I think the mana fixing is really important to get now. Uh, we got Unflinching Courage back and the Sin Collector. Um, Golgari Guildgate is in our colors, and Mishra's Factory. Which is a very good creature uh, land. And Prey Upon Arrest. I love the removal there, but Unflinching Courage is just so much fun, especially if we can stick it on a big guy and just keep getting through with damage. So I think I'm going to go through with that. Uh, Elite Vanguard, Gorkland Rampager is still here, and the Far Seek. Um, Brimstone Volley also. Uh, we've already got, well, we got Steering Spear, I guess, is some of our only removal, so we'll need to get some more sometime, but I don't think it'll be Brimstone Volley, although it could be. Gorkland <sighs> Rampager, I feel like, might be the pull here, just because if we can get Trample on something and get a bunch of damage, it's fun, and we win sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull that. Uh, Forbidden Alchemy, Prophetic Prism, Evolving Wilds, Mind Stone, Palladium Mirror, I wish... Yeah, while well, the Prophetic Prism is still here, and that can be handy if we need to do some color sorting. Uh, Vivid Craig's also here, though, and red may be one of our main colors. So, I'm going to go ahead with the Vivid Crag. Uh, Cross and Grip, Sepulchral Primordial, Luminate Primordial. Up to one target creature that player controls, and that player... Exile up to okay, got it. That can be pretty cool. Uh, although we've already got quite a bit of high costed stuff. Um, but nothing else really speaks out to me in this pack. We got Frozen Grip if we had to get rid of artifacts and enchantments. And I'm gonna go ahead with the Illuminate Primordial. And uh, I'm gonna hold on a second real quick. And I'm back, and we're gonna go ahead and take this Mishra's Factory here, I think, unless we want the arrest. But uh, Mishra's Factory is just awesome. Although it could hurt us because we're playing four colors here, maybe. Uh, and the arrest, we do need some more removal. So that's always something to consider. I can go ahead and do that. I actually take the arrest. Here, I think we go for the Far Seek. Yeah, because it can get us whatever we need and ramp. Uh, Prophetic Prism might be a good one here, although we have the Palladium Mirror and the Evolving Wild. So we got some interesting mana stuff here. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Prophetic Prism, and here with the Crows and Grip, and hey, the Mistress Factory came back around. This is actually all stuff we could use, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Mistress Factory, Torch Fiend, and the Forbidden Alchemy. So that's it for the first part of this. Uh, definitely be sure to check out Quad9's channel, and you could win this cube, possibly, so I can get some nice stuff in the next pack, and uh, also watch for the second part of the video where I did the last pack and then also build the deck. And thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and keep watching for magic videos.